<laughs> what do you want to talk about? Uh, I hear Tomb Quest is great. Yeah. Yeah, so. yeah. We're going to talk about it 39 minutes. Half person there. Okay. So there's like this. I mean, where is this? Even though there's 39 minutes of fit in by you, is that true? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what I'm allowed to say. But it's uh, me. I, you know everything. I know. I don't, I just, <laughs> there's so many rules. I don't know what I'm allowed to say about it if it exists. Really? If it exists, yeah. um, what I could say about a hypothetical book that might exist or might not is that I, I if I were writing it, uh, it might not be done yet. Uh, which might be the reason I'm leaving tomorrow to go back to the United States because uh, if I had an editor for this imaginary book, she might be really antsy to get her hands on it and uh, I might have to figure out how it ends and I might not have figured out how it ends yet. If there is a book, um, and if there is a book, it might turn out that Saladin's really important. <laughs> yeah, but if 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 I was gonna write one, I don't know. If, I don't know that I. Uh, <laughs> so next question. Okay. Um, what inspired you to write Proxy? Proxy was the kind of book that I wished had existed when I was a teenager. It's the book that I wanted to read, and I'm a big believer. If there's a book you want to read and it doesn't exist, you have to write it yourself. So. I wrote Proxy to be the book that, you know, like 14 year old me needed and wanted to exist. So I wrote it to please my 14 year old self, and it's been really awesome to see that other people have liked it too. Um, and it has a million different influences everything from, from my work as a journalist with, with children uh, from war zones and in slums around the world, and my love of sci fi, and uh, my own memories of high school, and uh, the anime Akira that I loved when I was a teenager. Uh, and so all that stuff kind of informed it. The kernel of it was writing the kind of story that I really loved. So, um, you've been writing children's books since the year started in writing. Um, how has the experience on writing a book specifically for the 39 Clues series? Writing for the 39 Clues is like no other kind of writing. Especially because, you know, um, Mission Hindenburg is book number 22 in the series, and that doesn't count all the like e-shorts and all the other, I don't even know how many it is, you might know better than I do what number it is. Um, so a lot's happened to these characters, and they're not my characters, I didn't create them, Rick Ryer didn't create them. Uh, and then Jude Watson, and Peter Laurentiis, and David Baldacci, and Natalie Standerford, and Linda Sue Park, and I can't even list all of the others, I don't even remember, uh, contributed something. So I, it's like a relay race where I got handed the baton. And that's a great honor. It's also a great challenge. And so the process of writing these characters was so hard because they had these vast histories that I had to get very familiar with very quickly. And I would try and do things. I would write something and uh, my editor would tell me, that's great, we love that, except we can't do that because in book 17 this happened, so we have to change that. Cause that and they also give you some pretty strict rules about what you have to do and what needs to occur in the book. So I had things that I had to accomplish. So it's like you're, it's like doing a very, it's like writing a very formal kind of poetry, you know, where you have a certain meter and a certain rhyme scheme, but within that, you have infinite possibilities. Or it's like playing chess. There's certain moves. You can only move in certain ways. But if there's, an in, there's not an infinite number of chess games with, with such a large num number, it might as well be infinite. Uh, and it's like that. I, I, within those restraints, I had such great freedom to play and to really, they always insist, make it your own. Uh, we want you, it has to be consistent with the 39 Clues universe and with the characters and with the action and the excitement and all the stuff people love. But put your own stamp on it. We want your voice. Uh, and so, uh, I did. So I should say though, what happened to, and I don't know, spoilers, but <laughs> what happened to Aunt Beatrice was totally not my idea. They made me. They made me, I won't say. They made me. I think they know. No spoilers. <laughs>